Hey, welcome to TC Disc Golf. Today, we're talking about the Discraft Stalker. The Stalker comes in a variety of plastics from Discraft. This is the Globe plastic, which is a little bit more flexible than the Z plastic. And this is the Z Flex, which is uh, way more flexible, at least in the middle. Before we talk more about the Stalker, I wanted to remind you that when you like, subscribe, and share, that helps me out a lot, so please be doing that. Um, I became someone who threw these when I was looking for a uh, fairway driver that I could actually throw as a beginner that would go straight and then have some faith to it. And this was a disc that very early on fit within my bag and kind of fit that category. My friends who throw much, much further than me say this is an understable disc, but to a beginner, almost everything is overstable. But the nice thing about this is that it actually ends up going straight before fading out, and it will hold any angle. Of the different plastics that I've thrown, I have the Glow, which I would say is the least stable. I've thrown the Z, which I'd say is a step up, and then you have the Flex, which is classically stable in the sense that it holds any angle that you'll put it on but it will ultimately um, not really deviate from that. So when I think about this disc, this is a nice fairway that you can take and you can put out straight and just know at the end that it's not gonna nosedive per se, but it's gonna find its way to the ground. So I throw this disc a lot when I need to push straight further than an Addicts, which is a mid-range from Wild Disc but not quite as far as a driver. This is kind of my main, um, I would say, short hole driver in the woods, though lately I've found other discs that I throw more than this. But the feel of this disc is so nice. I know that there's some discs that I will complain about the bead or the way that it feels. Uh, Discraft Passion is one that I'm famous for complaining about how it feels. But this disc, I actually really like the feel of it in my hand, just the depth of it, the width of the rim. It just fits perfect in my hand for the type of throws that I do. When I think about this disc as far as a forehand disc, sometimes I will try it as a forehand disc, and I'm reminded that because of the uh, true stability, it's not an overstable disc, Unless I'm angled correctly, it's really hard for me to get it to fly right. In this way, it's a lot like a longer buzz. It flies in such a way that you couldn't really forehand it super efficiently, but goes straight and then it has a dependable fade to it. So This disc though flies a little bit further from the buzz, and when I first added this to my bag, I kinda had it set up so that I had buzz, Stalker and then my vultures, which I'll have a video for my vultures coming out next week. But now in my bag, this disc is kind of in its um, fairway slot just underneath the Tasmanian Devil from Wild. The Discraft Stalker is one of the longest in my bag discs, and it doesn't look like it's going to leave anytime soon, even if it's getting thrown less. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, tell your friends about this channel, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.